Very good morning to you here in the room. Very good morning to you outside at uh, the stream. Uh, we are very glad to have a new software-defined radio academy, this time in uh, Friedrichshafen, as we had it the years before, but not during the pandemic. This is the eighth SDR Academy, and uh, Markus and I will give a short overview within the next 15 minutes. The organization and privacy should be one recommend, and Markus, please. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Michael. So, we're uh, having this as a hybrid event, which means that we have it on site and we have it in the stream. And all of you in the stream, please uh, do comment in the stream and we have our video team and we will monitor what you're writing and we will consider and reflect the, your questions here in the audience. Um, the talks will be recorded on video. Um, the speakers will be recorded, the slides will be recorded. We will produce the live stream right now, but the video team will cut the live stream into individual um, videos and they will be available later on our YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is, as you see it here, youtube.sdra.io, which is actually a forwarder to the YouTube um, URL, but you won't remember the URL because of all those uh, cryptic uh, uh, letters at the end. Anyway, um, I would like to uh, highlight the producers who are Torben, Sebastian, Mark, and Tim. So, um, there's going to be a lunch break for personal discussion. We'll have a little tiny coffee break also in the afternoon. Um, for the visitors, when you go in, go out. Please don't do it during the talks, but please do it between the talks. Um, <clears throat> well, we have a moderation and organization team, which is here right now, both of us. Um, generally, we're also including our French colleagues, uh, Jean-Michel Fried and Hervé Beglen, but they needed to leave already yesterday evening after their part. But I guess they will be in the stream also. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, people who would like to raise questions, um, please don't just speak but ask us for the microphone, because otherwise the listeners in the stream cannot hear you. And um, yeah, don't walk in the middle, there is the camera right there, and uh, you will just be in front of the camera. And uh, yeah, and when you raise questions, the audio of your questions will also be recorded, just to let you know. The SDR uh, Academy uh, it has about 10 talks from 10 to 18 o'clock. Each is 30 minutes long and oh including the discussion. So an active, uh, effective time of talk will be about 25 minutes and hopefully we have a discussion only of five minutes or so and the organization time will include within the 30 minutes. Uh, we have a timetable on the website, so if you don't feel that this is uh, your uh, active task, task now, come later again uh, and have a look here uh, for the timetable first. Uh, if uh, we have an overfilled room, uh, we uh, expect up to 100 persons could be seated here, but uh, uh, please pay attention, the video recording will be only the front part and the projector, so you can use the, the sites and please, if you change in the room, uh, use the doors at the site. <clears throat> so we have an innovation here, something new to this event and it will also be here in the future. This is the Ulrich Rode Award. Uh, Ulrich Rode has created this award this year, a couple of months ago, and um, I would like to uh, emphasize this because this is something very, very important. It is the first award specifically on software-defined radio, on research in software-defined radio. 
at least in Europe. I don't know if there is a similar kind of award in America, but this is a real first award for this field. And this shows that the field of software defined radio is progressing. So we are creating our own awards. We're going into this, we're developing this field. And it's getting a lot of recognition. And we see this recognition because the president of the International Amateur Radio Union, Silva Azarian, for DKR, is going to hand over the award. And um, the DRC president, Christian Ensferner, also um, wants to be present. And uh, you see the recognition we're receiving here. And this is a really very fine development, and I'm very proud of it, uh, that this is taking place right here. And of course, I just want to, to add, it is a very important incre increase of our, uh, well, on our view uh, of the SDRA. So uh, uh, I'm very proud that we can have this event today the first time. Uh, well, the target of the SDRA is what should it be and what uh, should be reached. Uh, it should be concentrated as an exchange platform. Uh, uh, the ap uh, it is application oriented. It should fill the gap between science and industry and ham radio and make a link to publish literature about SDR and the SDR products. What should be reached? Well, passive listeners maybe you are at the moment passive, <laughs> you should be transformed into active makers. Uh, show how to make the f these first steps uh, will be uh, one of the ideas, the items uh, of this uh, talks. Uh, help to jump over virtual walls and uh, start with SDR uh, in practice. Understand how to assess the products in Hall A1. Right, actually this is your slide. Uh, okay, <laughs> I, I take it over. Well, uh, as we have a, uh, some, uh, some people here in, in the hall and we want to make you active makers, so the question is, uh, what is your experience? And I uh, invite you to uh, show it by hand sign uh, on my questions. Uh, who one of you has SDR TX or SDR RX for ham radio use on shortwave? Well, that's quite oh, a lot. It's yeah. about 80, 90 no, percent. Yeah. 95, <laughs> almost everybody. <laughs> everybody, okay, thank you for the assistance. <laughs> uh, who one has um, experience with FunCube dongle or RTL stick in together with SDR? Ah, it's about 60% 60, 60%, I think. Uh, SDR systems, hardware design and assembled, who one did it? Uh, about okay, cool. uh, 20%. Uh, uh, who has used or is active using USRP, HACRF, uh, Lime SDR, Red Pitaya or Pluto? Wow, so vast majority. 80%. <laughs> um, uh, who one has experience, well, very special, uh, with FPGA and VHDL? Wow, tw 20%. That's an increasing number. Yeah, this is a very increasing number. And uh, I, my impression is that uh, these both things, FPGA especially, will be uh, one of the questions to answer in the future. Uh, who one uses digital modes, not FT8? Digital mode means uh, uh, 3DB and uh, other uh, elements. M17. <laughs> yeah, M M17, yeah. Uh, okay. It's about uh, 15%. That's not 20. Uh, who one uses uh, reverse <coughs> beacon networks like CW Skimmer or Whisper? Okay, uh, 20%, I think. Whisper, there is, uh, after 16 hours, uh, today is a uh, there is a talk in the Conference Center West. 
So I invite you to have a look on the timetable if you can uh, realize it. And who's the speaker on that talk? Oh, <laughs> I think I know I'm very good. <laughs> All right, okay, great. I, I, for you, yeah, I'm, I'm the speaker of this talk. Uh, so I, I will leave a little bit uh, before the end of this uh, uh, totally uh, uh, um, event, uh, and I have to prepare for uh, this talk there. Well, um, uh, who one has experience with GNU radio? Yeah, about 20%. Uh, who one has experience uh, with SDR experiments on VHF UHF means not QO100. Oh, it's about 30%, yeah? Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much for your active uh, answers to my questions. And uh, for the audience outside in the stream, they know how many of you are engaged in which uh, kind of uh, SDR experiments. So. We know you, you know us, let's start. <laughs>